Data is everywhere and we are surrounded by it. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about what is data, different types of data, why we use it and how it is collected. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. We are living in the digital world where we are surrounded by data. From the time we get up in the morning to the time we go to bed, data is everywhere and is part of our day-to-day -day life. Data is in the book we read before going to bed, and it's in the alarm clock which wakes us up in the morning. Every one of us can relate to it as we have a mini computer in our pocket, and what it generates is a lot of data. It can be the data from our email app, or it can be from the weather app, or from their social media apps. It can be from apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. So now let's see what is the definition of data. Well, data is a collection of facts, such as number, words, measurements, observation, images, or just descriptions of things which can be collected, examined, and used to help in decision-making. Now that we know what data is and how we are surrounded by it all the time, let's now understand different types of data. Well, there are two different types of data. The first one is qualitative data, and second one is quantitative data. Qualitative data represents the things that can be observed but you can't measure. For example, color of somebody. It can be brown, black, or white. Or color of somebody's eyes, which can be blue, black, green. So that is qualitative. And what is quantitative data? Well, it's all about the numbers. For example, the things that can be measured and counted. It can be the weight of somebody, sales value of some product, or anything that can be measured. And this quantitative data is further divided into two categories, that is discrete and continuous. Well, discrete data is based on the counts and can only be a certain value. For example, number of lollies in a bag, or number of coins in a bag. But whereas, on the other hand, continuous data, it can take any value from in a particular range. It can be from a particular value, for example, height. It can vary from person to person, different value. It can be from five meter to six meter, or it can be the time, which can take any value. And it's not a certain value, or it's not a count of things. So that's quantitative and qualitative data set. So now let's, let's take a look at this picture which is a beautiful picture of a dog on a beach. Well, if we look at the qualitative data from this picture, it's that the color of the dog is brown and white, and he's wearing a red glasses, and he's relaxing on a beach, and he's sitting on a blue mat. So these are all qualitative data. Whereas if we look at the quantitative side, you can see from discrete data set in the, the quali quantitative data, he has two eyes, he has four legs. And if we talk about continuous data set, his weight is 25 kg and his height is 50 centimeter. So that's how the data is classified into qualitative and quantitative values. So now let's understand why we need to use data. Well, there are two important reasons why we use data. Well, the first one is to make informed decisions. Well, data is equal to knowledge, and good quality data provides evidence and helps us in making informed decisions. Well, without data, we sometimes struggle to find the reason or find an argument to make a right decision. So that's where data helps us to give us the justification of the argument and give us the valid reasoning which we can use to make informed decisions. Well, the second one is to find solution to problems. Data allow organization to more 
efficiently determine the cause of a problem. Data allows them to visualize the relationship between what is happening, why is it happening, and what will happen in future which helps them to predict the future based on the historic data and what action they can take in future to prevent some things from happening in future or to take a preventive measures so that they can make sure that some things doesn't happen in future again. So now moving on to collection of data. Well, there are different ways in which we can collect data. And let's take an example from our day-to-day -day routine. So we all go to shopping center now and then, right? So in that case, have you ever noticed that there are sensors at the entrance and the exits of the shopping center? Well, they are there because they want to calculate the foot traffic, how many people are entering the shopping center at different time intervals or different time of the day. So accordingly, they make an informed decision in terms of how many cleaners they need in the shopping center or at different time interval where a lot of the shops are closed, they have to turn off their air conditioning. So all those things are done or the data is collected based on the direct observation where we are collecting the data based on the sensors. There are another ways like collecting the data based on surveys or samples or there is data generated automatically by different source systems. So that's how data is really important and has a great impact on our day-to-day -day life. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions feel free to ask or leave a comment in the section below. Thank you.